Am I enjoying Forza Horizon 3? Hey guys, Loku here. Uh, just a word of warning, this video is going to be a little different from the usual. Uh, usually I write down my thoughts uh, and, uh, and topics and then I do a voiceover and edit the video. This time I'm doing live commentary, I'm playing the game right now. So the video, the video is going to be a bit longer. I'm going to stutter here and there because I'm playing the game and talking at the same time. Uh, the reason for that is that um, it, it's less time consuming this way and I am just swarmed with work. I'm out of time and uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that tomorrow and why I don't really have time to do much uh, in, a, in a vlog. I'll, I'll record a quick vlog and post it on the channel. I'll let you guys know what's up. But yeah, back to Forza Horizon 3. You know, the reason why I'm enjoying this game so much is just this world. This world is awesome. By the way, classical music on the background because I tried to do a walkthrough on our second channel and got copyright claims out of my ass. And the video was blocked in 182 countries, which pretty much the whole world. And uh, yeah, so classical music, no no labels on that or whatever. Uh, not really representative of how I play this game. It's got a decent soundtrack. It's got a bunch of radios. Uh, you can connect it to Groove Music, which is uh, a Microsoft service, which I haven't logged in or haven't started the trial, but uh, it's a subscription service. If you're subscribed, you can play your own music there. Uh, you got a bunch of radios. Got the hip hop radio, the the rock radio, the the punk radio, whatever. You've got a lot of stuff. Let's set a waypoint uh, so we can actually move towards something while we talk. Sure. Why don't we show a PR stunt? All right. Yeah. For this video, no music. But the main reason why I'm enjoying it so much is just this world, man. Australia is fun to drive on. It's so varied. Like you've got these planes that are full of, you know, foliage and stuff. You've got deserts, you've got the beach side, you've got the the city, and all of it uh, promotes specific types of driving. So you always feel challenged to uh, adapt and uh, do different things. I found, I found a couple of issues with... Yes, I am driving the Warthog with uh, destructible objects. Like, uh, sometimes... You can break trees, right? And you can break street poles. But like this tree is not breakable, for instance. Like It's barely any different from the other trees. And I don't understand why, you know? Like there's some things like this while you're cruising out in the open world. Where all of a sudden you, 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 you collide. And uh, you didn't expect uh, that to happen. So the game isn't really good uh, with some of that stuff. And I'd say, you know, back to the radio talk, I like songs on pretty much all the radios, but there isn't a single radio that I like uh, all the songs on. So yeah, I'm lukewarm on the songs. When a song that I like comes on, I, I, I'm hyped, I'm pumped, but uh, usually I'm just lukewarm about it. So we just did a PR event, which was a speed trap. I got uh, one star and... Uh, means I didn't go fast enough past that point. There are several types of uh, PR events and races. All of that game gives you XP, all of that gives you credits, all of that gives you fans. You are the boss of the Horizon Festival. And you're basically getting more fans so you can expand the festival, make it bigger, open up more locations. When you start off... Wrong menu. When you start off, you start off in this location. This is the only location you have. And as you expand, uh, you get to pick which location you, you want next. So I picked the Outback, and now I've actually unlocked the third location, which I can install right now, which I've saved for this video uh, on purpose. Uh, you might recognize some of the name tags of the cars that I'm driving by. That's because it's populating with my own friends list. These people do not own uh, Horizon. Uh, so it's literally just picking up names from my friends list and uh, populating them. But if the person does own Horizon, it will populate them with the cars that they own in-game, which is pretty cool. Uh, at uh, certain moments, you unlock something called the Showcase Events. I think that's the name. And we've got a Showcase Event right here. This is one I've already beaten, that's why it's grayed out. Uh, but these are some sort of special races that are really spectacular, happen once in a while. These are 
Uh, they, they kind of feel like the high points of the uh, Forza Horizon game. Uh, at the same time, it's stuff that has been in previous games. So if you have played previous Horizons, you you know what this is. It's pretty much a time trial, but it's a time trial in a setting that you you usually don't expect. In this example, I'm racing a freaking train. That's right. It's a freight train. Brilliant, isn't it? Word of warning, though. The course we design crosses the tracks. You might want to get to those bits before it does. Right on time. You ready for this? Alright, so the, the car handling. Every car handles differently, as you would expect. Uh, some cars perform better off-road, some cars perform better in the road. All this screen shake is because of the train. Uh, it's the only event that I, I, I've, uh, I've witnessed this. Uh, getting used to a new car is tough. That is so cool. That is just so cool. Um, but yeah, it's an arcade type of driving, it's not simulation at all. Uh, though it is not as arcade as something like Need for Speed. Uh, there is a weight to the cars that perhaps Need for Speed didn't have, so it's almost like a somewhere in between, but like you see that turn, that drift? That's that's as arcadey as it gets. Let's uh, not drift here because the the turn is not sharp enough. But eh, not sharp enough turns for drifting. And if there are no checkpoints, you can totally skip the track uh, and make your own path. Usually during the main events, there are checkpoints, which are these uh, green things right here. Oh boy. Do I have enough speed? Yes. Ah, oh, that's awesome. But in between checkpoints, you can pretty much make your own path. Uh, which sometimes races don't have checkpoints. Like, uh, if you you can drive up to any drive avatar in the game, and uh, and challenge them to a race. And usually that race is just start point and end point, and you don't even need to drive on the road. In fact, driving off-road uh, is often uh, better for you. Um, we've talked about two flaws, I know I had three. So we talked about the objects with collision, specifically the trees. Like some trees you, you'd expect to break them, uh, but, but you can't for some reason. Uh, we talked about the radios, music is, yeah, kind of, but that's all always very subjective, very subject to personal taste. Uh, the finish line's right there. Oh boy. Yeah, you always get it kind of close, like the game is scripted that way. I did a much... <laughs> You're early. I, I, I did a much worse run the first time I did this event, and it wasn't... It, it it was just as close. Uh, so yeah, it's a time trial. Uh, you can fail it if you take too long to cross the finish line. But in a way, everything's kind of scripted. To create these epic moments, man. It's like a dumb action movie, you know? And I love those. Uh, leveled up. Every time you level up, you get to spin this thing for a reward. Uh, the rewards can be credits or a car. Usually just credits. I got lucky. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, you've pretty much seen the progression of this game. It's like uh, you create, you expand the festival to unlock new events. Those events uh, are usually straight up races, uh, either with laps or a starting and an ending point. Uh, but they really vary up with. Uh, oh, come on. Did you really put me all the way here? No matter. Driving is fun. When it is safe to do so. Yeah, the weather, the terrain can differ a lot, and uh, that does make for some unique races. Now, every time you walk up to an event, let's just do it right here. Here's uh, an event, Outbacks, blah blah blah. Hey G, you've now set up enough routes to host a championship. Points awarded over multiple races, most points wins. You know what to do. Yeah, so uh, usually you have three... Uh, Options. I am currently doing a championship, so I cannot turn this into a championship. Basically, it just creates more events and uh, creates a point system. Exhibition is just playing this race. Rivals 
I'm not entirely sure, so I don't want to mess up uh, on, on this video, but I think it is pulling from the Forza Horizon community. Uh, like you, you do a lap to set a time and it draws in someone with similar skill and you try to beat that person. Hey G, glad you and your friends are enjoying the races we've set up. But this is your festival. We take orders from you. So, let's talk about Horizon Blueprint. Alright, so you enter Blueprint and you can Blueprint, customize this. Okay, where, she's gonna explain it. How fast. Set race conditions, number of laps, car themes and categories, and then run your events your way with your friends. Yeah. Each theme contains a group of cars Come on. selected and balanced for your events. Want to race rally classics, Chevrolets, Italian manufactured cars? Take a look through and see what you think. So, uh, this race, it has a standard Horizon normal main campaign sort of thing, but you can make it your own. Like, it's the same circuit, but you give it your own rules and you'll get the same rewards uh, out of it. So, first thing, uh, with the cars that I have, I can go with anything, means any cars can go, heavy hitters can go, uh, American All-Stars, which would be muscles, I guess, with my current car. Uh, I can select car types from the full list, I can Horizon Specials, Decade, Country, Manufacture, you can, like, have a race with only BMWs, uh, you can have custom car restrictions. All right, so you've got something specific in mind. Yes. From here, you can create your own custom car theme. Just select the car or cars you want to be eligible. Uh, let's say I want the BMW M3. Because I have that. Right? Uh, done? Confirm. Right. Race settings, you can Here, set the number of laps. Details like weather, time of day, or number of laps in circuit races. All of that. Uh, I'll give your event a name. I know it helps with PR, but it's more than that. A work of art needs a title. So this is going to be... M3... Cruising. You create the blueprint. Publish. Hit the button and we'll get started. Oh, Globe Crew presents. Now just select your event flyer and we'll get to racing. Globe Crew presents M3 Cruising. Or I can play the official Horizon stuff. Or I can play other events that other people in the Horizon 3 community have created. And you'll get the exact same rewards as if you would uh, play the, the, the official thing. So you can choose how you play. Now I might have noticed the, the wheel up top with skills. As you drive, you do skills. Right, I'm doing drifts, I'm doing airs, I'm breaking stuff. Breaking stuff is also a skill move, yes. Like, yeah. Break these bushes. Great wreckage, ultimate air. Okay, crashed, all the points are gone. Uh, that all goes into... Progression. Skill shop. So we've got three different skill shops. I've been putting a lot of stuff into skills. And these are, well, the skills are stuff that helps you build up bigger skill combos to earn more skill points. Uh, this gives you stuff for the festival and instant rewards are just, hey, here's some XP. Here's a, here's a wheel spin. Here's something. Uh, that's kind of how the progression works. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's a very complete game. And you, you, I was getting the tutorials there because I've already played on some blueprints, but I did it on a co-op session. And you can play the full game cooperatively. And not only that, like, you can join people for Horizon Adventures, like, there's a lot of multiplayer action to be had here. But just driving in the fucking open world is satisfying, and that's a thing that a, an open world racing game must get right, and... I, d I don't think I've ever had so much fun just driving around. There's open world activities to do, you saw the PR stunt, which can be st speed traps, drift challenges, just in the middle of a road, like you enter a road, oh, from here, this point to this point, do a drift. Uh, it can be this, these XP marks on the map, I think that's in the tunnel. Uh, yeah, it can be a variety of things. There's a lot to do, and if nothing else, you're just building up skill points, progressing that way. 
Uh, it's a it's a system that can be exploited. You can create. You can just spin here or spend your time out here in the open world, just getting skill points and getting skill points. But nothing that you gain is game breaking. So that's completely completely fine. Car customization is off the chains. Like there's a lot you can do, and you can also share your designs with the community. Uh, so for me personally. Like, I like my car to look good. I like my car to look complex, but I'm not a very good artist. Fortunately, the Forza Horizon community is full of good artists. They, they, made, they made a Mass Effect-themed Warthog, for God's sake. Like, the, there's a lot of creativity, and I like how easy it is for your car to look unique, because you just browse the menu and say, this looks good. Same thing for tuning and performance. You can spend your time picking out each part for your car, or you can talk to your mechanic and say, get this, get my car to this category, and then send me the bill. And he sends you the bill. Meters. Turn left. It's perfect. It's got the complexity, but for someone like me who doesn't like wasting too much time on that stuff, it's got these tools that are just awesome to pick up and go. Uh, final notes, because this is an Xbox Play Anywhere, I did try the PC version. Uh, it, it, it's not locked to 30 frames per second, you can send it up to 60, but it is very unstable. Uh, with the GTX 980, I was getting unstable frame rates, uh, on medium settings. Uh, it's not well optimized at all. Hopefully they patch it. The PC version is capable of higher highs, but that comes at, uh, the expense of, uh, stability. I even locked the frame rate to 30, just to have a better looking game at 30 frames per second. Uh, but even then, it's it's just not as stable as the Xbox One version. I would recommend you play uh, you play the game on Xbox if you do have the console. And yeah, uh, sort of a different format today for this impressions piece. Hopefully, uh, I said everything I wanted to say. If you guys got any questions about Forza Horizon 3, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'll make sure to reply. This very unusual. Oh, by the way, check out my horn. Perfect. Perfect Warthog uh, horn. So hey, here's a, a CD setting uh, where we're gonna expand our uh, uh, Horizon event to next. Uh, you're gonna get to see my garage, some of that customization stuff I talked about, and we'll end this video. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, do leave them in comments. Uh, I'll be sure to reply. Uh, this might be a format that we adopt in the future instead of the heavily edited videos just sit down and play. And show you guys what the game's all about while talking uh, firsthand uh, about our experience. There you go. Surfers paradise. People can walk straight from the beach to the stage to the starting barrier. It's a masterpiece, even if I do say so myself. Every time you expand, they give you a free car, but then they make me pay for it. I don't understand why. I checked out the new festival site. Looks spectacular. You know what would go really well with all those tents and streamers? One of these. All right, Dodge Charger, Dodge Dart, Ford Falcon, definitely the Chevrolet. Oh, there's music in the background. Hopefully, this doesn't get flagged because I can turn off the music from the thing itself. Here's the. Here's what I was talking about. Like the community has made these designs. Sometimes it takes a while to, to load up. Um, yeah, the, the, these are things people made, and you can make your own. But, I mean, are you gonna put in the time to make something like this? I would love to. I want a car that looks like that. I just don't want to put in the time, and I think that's perfect. Oh, like that rusty look? It's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. Alright, so I select this, I want to choose this car. Okay, it didn't make me purchase it this time, good. Sometimes it's like, hey, 42,000 credits, which it, money hasn't been a problem at all to, up to this point, and I've been spending it as, as I've been needing it, pretty much, like upgrading, no problem. I've never... Oh, look at those rust details, so good, I feel like you can import PNGs. Uh, so yeah, you can go into the customization, pick each piece on its own, or you can go to upgrades, 
You can apply a preset. Yeah, love it. Like a visual preset, which actually also influences your performance. I don't know if you saw my car went up from the uh, A category to S1. Uh, though... Your car is already optimized for S1. I know, but it's, it's kind of low. I want it up on the 900s. Okay, let's actually bump it down a category, because then all my opponents will be on category A. And that way I'm at the top of category A. So I know the other cars don't have uh, an advantage over mine. It's cool that you can play with whatever you want. You want to play with fast cars? Play with fast cars. You want to play with slow cars? Play with slow cars. Yeah. Uh, you find some barns which, some, which, ha which have some antiques. Like this Ferrari that I customized with the piggy. Or this piece of garbage. Um... License, customized license plates, customized horns, like there's tons of them. Sorry. Yep. Uh, yeah, and you can, there's, there's microtransactions, you can buy horn accelerators, uh, which, whatever. Uh, you can buy a map for the collectibles outside. Uh, you still have the auction house where players put their cars up for sale and uh, with their own custom designs. It's a very complete, very cool game. Can be played multiplayer cooperatively from the start to finish. Have fun. So, yeah, as you can see, some of those search for stunts and races around the new festival site. It's not just a paradise for surfers. Have fun. Some of these new events I've already completed because I was in a co-op session where this was the hub where I was playing. Yeah, that's Forza Horizon. It's it's really, really awesome. Been loving it. Oh god. No, no, shut up. Mute the video. I'll sign these. Horizon Base Arena. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. No, don't say that. Sign Vagrant. Turn off the radio. Alright, groove music. Sure, radio off. Alright. Hope, well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on uh, Forza Horizon are. Uh... I've been having a blast. Thanks for watching, dudes. Take care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this bucket list challenge, which usually puts you in a car. In this case, it's gonna be this guy, and take you through a crazier route. Sometimes it's a drifting challenge on a car that is not supposed to drift. Sometimes it's just, hey, get on this buggy and do this crazy stuff, like this crazy course. Bucket list uh, events have been pretty good. The other events, you know, are normal races, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, pretty, pretty standard, but uh, since you can customize all the stuff, like, it makes for a pretty fun game, a pretty varied game, uh, with beautiful environments and varied gameplay because of weather, because of terrain, because of the type of car that you're driving. Uh, the car collection is impressive. Yeah, it's got a few flaws, but in comparison to how amazing it is to the stuff that it does right, it's it's an easy recommendation for fans of driving games. Cheers, guys. I've ended this video like five times already. I've said the outro like five times already, but this time's for real. Take care. Boy.